Hello everyone and welcome to Star Citizen. I have so far avoided making Star Citizen videos even though I've had the game for a fair amount of time and that's because we were sort of in the middle of updates and uh, content wise we are coming up on a big update, update Alpha 3.0. It is still all in Alpha and I think that leading up to that, uh, that is going to be a significant enough update uh, that there will be opportunity to make a lot of videos on it. And so uh, this is a good time. There's a lot of complicated business when it comes to Star Citizen, especially when it comes to the funding. I've only ever paid 45 bucks for the game. That's how much you pay for the base game, or at least when, when I got it, it was. And for that you get a basic ship. Um, in my case it's the Aurora. I forget which Aurora it is. The Aurora is just a little trader ship. And once they finally release the game, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my little trader ship and buy all the other ships, right? Uh, so exactly like you would do in Elite, you start with the Sidewinder and you work your way up and get funds and get other ships. And that's how it'll work in Star Citizen eventually. Um, if you see on the website right now, it might be daunting because it seems like they're selling ships for real money, and they are, but that is actually not uh, specifically required. You don't have to buy it right now. But if you want to use those ships in this section, this uh, universe section, which will eventually become the entire game, um, if you want to fly those ships instead of just the base ship right now, then you are going to have to pay for those ships. Uh, so right now if I go in here, I, all I'll have is the Aurora. That does not mean that I don't get to try out those other ships. And of course, once the main game begins, people who purchase those ships will be able to use the ships they purchased in the main game as well. So they'll have a head start. And that's how that'll work. Uh, if you want to try out the other ships, you can do so in this Arena Commander mode. And so even though I've only ever paid for one ship, um, I've sort of done, well, here's the multiplayer section. I've done some Battle Royale stuff and some classic races. And in those, I get rental credits. And using the rental credits, I can rent the other ships. Not all the other ships, but a lot of the other ships to play around with. And you can do each of these modes and like fight off. Uh, the, these are PvE, that's a PvE. This is a racing PvP, and this is a PvP against other peoples. And so you can do these, get the rental credits, and use those rental credits to get a ship for one week. And so that's how that works. So for instance, uh, Classic Race. This is the ship that I got by default with the game. And this one is one I've rented for the week. And so this is a little stub fighter. Maybe I should show you the website to make things a little bit clearer. Okay, so this is the website. And I have a certain amount of these rental credits, and so I got this. This is the cheapest one, and it's it's a good little fast ship, but not really good for fighting, so it's better for racing. And uh, I spent 2,000 rental credits on that. How much time does it take to get that? I'd say maybe three games. So um, if you do the, what you call it, um, PvP stuff, and then maybe a race or two, uh, that'd be good enough. So maybe an hour at most? At most. I mean, you could do it much, much less, but at most, it would take an hour to rent that one. Um, and then uh, some of the fancier ships will take you a little bit longer. As you can see, I think it tops out at 16,500 on these rental credits. But quite a lot of ships to choose from. Oh, actually, there's a 25,000 Aegis Vanguard Warden. Um, currently, I think I've got 12,000 only. And so more info. And so that's what the ship looks like. Now, so this product is a limited time ROM that will last for seven periods of 24 hours. So you get a week with it, and then you'd have to rent it again. Uh, so that's uh, in here in the store under electronic access. You can also buy weapon systems, by the way. So if we click electronic access, um, you can get little weapons to rent and so forth. So you can fit those. Voyager Direct. This is a place where you will be spending your in-game credits eventually. Uh, the real credits that uh, we rack up while, while playing. The part of this which daunts people is if they go to like ships here 
and these these are if you want to buy them outright like I said and use them in the uh, persistent universe then a lot of these aren't even ready yet but uh, some of them well let's see uh, here's here's the Merlin so I'm renting this for 2000 and but it'll cost you 20 bucks if you want to buy it and use it in the persistent universe it looks uh, the reason I like it is it looks great look at that and uh, the reason people might want to buy it in the persistent universe is you can get out and walk around and take a look at it and everything I'll show you that in the Aurora in a bit but it's just a fantastic looking ship it's only a tiny little snub fighter though it's much smaller than everything else okay so that's the basic idea but if you were going to get Star Citizen um, getting started yeah you get one of these two packages for forty five dollars and so this is the Aurora MR that's the one I have and then uh, this is more for trading and exploring this one is if you were wanted to start out in combat uh, Mustang Alpha okay so that's enough of the website okay so getting a multiplayer game right now doesn't seem feasible at least it's not a very good time and of course being an alpha game and having the people sort of spread out in all these modes it's not the best sort of situation to actually get a game let, let me try a let me try a classic race just to show you how that works and the classic race if you're doing a single player you don't get rental credits out of it you have to actually play it as a race with other players but this is like practice round stuff so this is a practice round for my race and it's sort of like a I don't know, mid-air sort of city kind of thing. The thing you have to watch out for is that your ships have sort of an inertia thing going. You can see it's sort of sliding off to the side there a bit. You have to watch out. Especially if you use afterburners, which I'm going to do here. Basically, the reason that the ships are limited in velocity is because they wouldn't be able to maneuver. Their maneuvering thrusters would be, you know, overmatched in that case. Uh, like right now. Uh, okay. Ah, I couldn't make that gate. And now I've lost control. Okay, I've got control back. Good. But boy. Yeah, so using the afterburners can be touchy. I don't know if I'm going to be going through this gate in the right direction now. Okay, looks like it's good. Uh... Okay, next gate there. Okay, and then that's basically a lap uh, once we go through that tunnel there. There we go. Oh no, I went too far off to the side. No! Uh, okay, uh, okay, got it. Alright, so some some skill may be necessary. You gotta have to find the gates. They've got the little arrow things to try and point you in the right direction, but it's still difficult. Okay, uh like right now. And it is in 3D, so it's sort of a more complicated sort of racing. I don't know if they're eventually going to have like atmosphere sort of situation. Or like proper gravity in this case.
but it's still fun. And it looks beautiful. I guess if you're gonna have floating buildings, you might as well give the whole gravity thing a miss. But the planets in Star Citizen so far seem to be rather small anyway. Uh, uh oh, uh oh, ow, okay. Anyway, you get the idea about racing, so I'm not gonna belabor, belabor the point right now. Let's go into a different mode. There are three tracks, by the way, for the racing. That was the shortest one with ten gates. Okay. So, um... Practice dogfighting skills, maybe? We could go against this Vandal Swarm. And there are two maps. Dying Sc Star might be good. I guess we'll try that for a little bit. I need some combat practice, anyway. So again, you can rent uh, different ships and they'll look differently here. Actually, what would be good is if I could show you the different cockpit of the Aurora rather than this. But let's see how this tiny little snub fighter handles in this mode. Okay, Vandal Scavengers. Let's see. Let's, uh... Apparently over there. Okay. I forget which key is to automatically select them. Ooh, red out. Oh, that guy's close. Okay. Do not crash into an asteroid. Oop, or the other guy. Uh, where did he go? This is trouble. I haven't uh, figured the radar out yet. Okay, there he is. Okay, now we've got him. Sort of. There's a lot about the combat mechanics in this game I do not know. For instance, I still haven't fired an actual missile in this game. You can do th translational maneuvers, by the way. I've actually uh, got that on my hat key. So that can add a little bit of complexity to, whole, to the whole fighting thing. I'm, I've got it basically kept simple right now. Okay, there's a Vandal Scavenger there. Okay, I think that's the first wave. The blue net that you see in front of me is the edge of the map. So, the Persistent Universe, which I'll visit soon. Will obviously not have that. <laughs> I mean, that's the whole point of the main universe. Okay, killed one of them. And again, this is the cheapest little ship you can rent. Still looks fascinating though. It 
So the others come with a lot more by way of heavy armament. Okay, the net is looming. You bounce off of the net or get destroyed by it, so... Surprised, uh... Come on. Should be doing more... Well, maybe it's because of the overheating and everything. Let me let my weapon systems cool down a bit. Whoa, asteroid, asteroid, ah! Ah! I crashed. No, that's alright. I don't want to respawn. Okay. Let's, since I've been talking about it, let's go to the the Persistent Universe, where I won't be able to get uh, use this, um, the Merlin. Let's try this Crusader first. Yep. So, the version of the game right now is Alpha 2.6, and then they're going to have Alpha 3.0 coming up. So what you've got right now, this is uh, going to be subject to fast changes soon. So there is that to be said. Okay, so in Crusader, you wake up in your bunk, and... You put on your spacesuit. Let me. Okay, actually, yes, I was in my spacesuit already. I, as soon as possible, I want to get a character that isn't Scott Manley. No, I know. it isn't bald. Um... So this is Port Olisar, as it says right there, and we are going to find our one ship. And presumably other space stations will look similar. And so there are various landing pads and first we have to make sure our ship is going to be at a particular pad. These areas are sort of labyrinthine. You better have your spacesuit on before you go outside by the way. Okay, ship deck. That's what I want. Okay. So Unlike in Arena Commander, where I had the Merlin, I don't have the Merlin here. So I only have the Aurora, so we'll get to take a look at it. Okay, landing pad 7. And you can see there's a local chat. And 7 is over in this direction. We do have to cycle the airlocks per what you would expect. Um, that might be easier in first person view actually, but anyway, that's okay. Okay. And landing pad seven is over this way. Okay. So that's my ship. That is the Aurora. Looks a lot different from the Merlin, and it does so from the inside as well. Gaze upon its magnificence. I mean, this is just the basic ship, so it still looks wonderful. Okay. Some of this stuff has been a little bit glitchy. I hope. Okay, just climb. I have to press enter and I can't just walk up. I hope they work on that. There's a bunk in the back, by the way. For uh, version 3.0, I hope some of it's a little bit less. Uh, I mean, it's it's a little bit tough. I don't know how they're going to make it smooth, this whole... Yeah, I've entered the ship already. Can I sit down now? Ah, enter pod seat. There we go. I mean, it's a question of how to make it more straightforward, but it's okay right now, I guess. Alright. Woo! I've taken off. So, let's see, translational? So, like I said, translational thrusters are a thing. 
basically that's what I'm using there. Okay. Go to the left. Oh! Uh, landing gear. Okay. No, that's that thing. I have to remember my keys. Ah, N. N is to change the mode there. Alright. So, right. Uh, now... We have to figure out how to get a mission. And we'll also want to keep in mind how to get into... Well, hold on. Let's go for Flight Advanced. Contacts... You can see all the cycle target stuff. N is landing mode. B is quantum travel system. Moby Glass, F1, okay. Okay, this is going to be substantially improved in the new version. I've already seen what they are up to on that. So... Okay, these are our missions. Ooh, a little bit hard to see on that. Temporary contact, calm. Repair arrays is fairly simple. You get little rewards, and right now you can use those rewards to buy customization, like, you know, different clothing. Nothing too impressive. Not like getting a ship or anything. But I guess it's something. But uh, So that's Alpha UEC. In the real game, once it gets released, it'll be full UEC, and then you can use it to buy ships as well. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. It looks like our target is over there. Yeah, so we need to go over there to fulfill the mission. But that's a uh, distance away. So that's my destination, and we activate quantum jump. Right. Well, quantum travel system and quantum travel drive are on my joystick buttons, at least, so we can do that. Okay. There we go. That works. I don't know exactly how people travel by quantum, but. It's quantum. So there is a long-range travel system already implemented, so that's nice. And there are bad peoples. Okay. Let's fight the bad peoples. I think these are pirates. Well, doesn't sound like I have much of a choice then. So... I still haven't gotten through his shields, I think. Ooh. It's very... I mean, the combat is sort of reminiscent of Wing Commander, actually. Having played that game way back when... I played Wing Commander 1 and Wing Commander 2. Wing Commander 2 first, actually. Not all the way through, I think. Back at that point, everything was very, very slow on the frame rates, I have to say. My computer was not up to Wing Commander snuff. But I remember some really long battles with things. In Wing Commander. Nine tails. Man, I'm just not getting through. Or at least it's not telling me about the damage I'm doing. My weapons are losing energy here. <laughs> And now 
now he's been able to turn so that he can potentially fire at me. Though, he's a very bad shot. Oh, I just I was saying that. I'm not trying to be a hero. Uh, you did say I was going to be dead either way, so I might as well. If you said it would be alright if I ran, I, I don't know if I'd put so much effort into it. Ouch. Ouch. Oh. I don't think either of us have our shields down yet. Yeah, you can still see his shields. Ah. Well. Yeah, so that can happen. Yes. But, you wake up again. It's sort of like EVE Online in that I guess you're a clone or something, I don't know. At least that's my story, I'm st sticking to that. Okay, we are clearly in our flight suit already, so I don't have to change. Whoa, more than I need to know. Well, um, so, can we get our ship? Ah, uh, we have to wait a little bit. We could use some of our balance to get the ship ready immediately, but there's a delay after you get killed. And the amount of credits it costs to get your ship readied apparently depends on that delay, so it goes down as we get closer. But I'm a patient person, and anyway, there's stuff to talk about. So... Yeah, the way you get the credits is by fulfilling the missions, right? We have that Moby Glass thing. And these missions all give you a certain amount of credits. There's secondary missions, no completed missions. I completed some missions, but this gives you a thousand of that Alpha UEC. So, you can get all sorts of missions like that. Since I haven't done... I suppose uh, further missions after you do the basic ones would give you more credits. And obviously in the new update there will be uh, more missions to do. But anyway, you get the idea of this mode. I don't think I need to belabor it. Still, as far as art assets go, they've sure got a lot going for them. And obviously the combat is there. Let's take a look at a different mode, and that is in the other part of the universe. Okay, so also they've been working on this Star Marine thing for first-person shooter action, but I don't care. Um, I'm a space person. Uh, so, this is a, this here is a private area to view or modify your ship loadouts. Not, not a big deal. You can see your ship anyway in the Crusader bit. But let's go to Area 18 and visit that spaceport. And of course, they're going to have to integrate all this stuff. Uh, as far as developments go in the future, it's sort of like putting these pieces together. The combat is already sort of in the Persistent Universe, though it could do some with some fine-tuning, obviously. But they're getting a lot of information. They've been in Alpha for so long, they certainly have gotten community feedback. Okay, here we go again. And I am my bald self. I hope they eventually figure out how to do here. Wow. Uh, usually, previous times, I guess it's just a time of day. Because previous times I've been in here, it's been a little bit busier. People walking around and such. Ooh, that needs work. So this is sort of the planet-side environment. And this is one way you can spend your, your hard-earned credits. If you are into the first-person shooter sort of thing, you can buy your weapons buy your armor. Um, there must be an interact thing somewhere. Oh, okay. 
It only works in first person view. Shoot. Okay. Um, maybe a hat is not such a bad idea. 200 AUCE. Not that expensive. I don't like the style of the hat though. I would like a fedora. The shoes are also lackluster. Anyway, uh, so let's go back to the weapons bit and see if we can't purchase those yet. Oh, now the door's just stuck open. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. So, if I if I want that, four thousand. Well, guess that makes sense. Armor. Nine thousand five hundred, huh? Medium armor, heavy armor. How much is the heavy armor? Twenty thousand. Anyway, so yes, these are purchasable. I don't know about the stats, but presumably we can figure that out. I want to inspect, yes. Mm. Nope, apparently they don't give me numbers. Sorry, no numbers, no sale. Flight suit. Actually, that looks good. Better than the olive colored stuff. Gold is a bit too flashy. Anyway. So things are developing, and we'll have to see how much... It's mostly about putting the pieces together, as far as I can see. Because there's plenty of art, there are plenty of ships, there is combat, there's stuff to roam around in, there are obviously guns to play around with, for those who like that sort of thing. And so the question is, uh, to what extent does the next patch get some of these elements a little bit tighter and make them work with each other and give us more to do? There are missions, but uh, you can go through them pretty quickly and they'll get repetitive eventually, as missions do. As far as the multiplayer is concerned, that's pretty good. That can be good fun racing and uh, fighting people, but you do have to get in at the right time of day to get enough people to play around with, and usually that's in the evenings. So that's why I'm not doing it right now. So, yeah. Anyway, there is potential, but we'll have to see how Alpha 3.0 improves on things. On that note, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.